my purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play pokemon glazed i'm purple rodri last time we took down rain isles gym leader makanuchi and in today's episode we are going to do a bit of backtracking because we still have to go ahead and handle team fusion regina who is just running around the rancor region doing anything she wants so we're gonna go ahead and make our way back to colo isle now if you guys remember colo isle was the island where we had quite a bit of snow and by quite a bit i mean this place is covered in snow so i think that gives you a little bit of insight into what pokemon regina might be going after so let's go ahead and make our way to the upper half of the colo region and there's actually a little something we need to do now if you guys remember well once i can actually make my way there in front of the gym there seems to be a little bit of something going on and now there also seems to be a hole here so let's go ahead and enter and we have officially made it inside of mount frozen so this is where we will be taking care of everything today now i feel pretty good about this i think we will be good to go i'm gonna put chompy up in front also once again thank you guys for your tips and your comments make sure you guys give this video a like it's much appreciated as we go into our first battle All right, so easy does it. It looks like we are going to have a couple battles inside of this place. What is this guy doing? Is he just like stuck on the wall? All right, let's keep on trucking through this place. It looks like we're gonna have another battle. Okay, so it looks like there's also a little bit of ice and I gotta tell you guys ice puzzles are a lot of fun But they're also really difficult. I don't think I can actually get over there, which is weird So they put that pokeball there just to tease you Maybe there's some other way to get to that, but who knows it looks like we're gonna have another ice puzzle here once in a while I can get really good at ice puzzles then you know another once in a while I go ahead and have a little bit of hard time with it this one looks a little bit tricky, so I'm just going to go ahead and come back once I've actually figured it out for us, and then we can continue on, hopefully. Okay, so with that, guys, I've gone ahead and figured it out. Wasn't that bad, and let's go ahead and take her on. So far, so good. We'll have to see what else is in store for us inside of this place, but let's take this guy on. Okay, we're actually getting a lot of good XP here, so definitely a good place to send your Pokemon before going up against the champion. Now, let's see. We're going to have to continue through here, and with that, guys, it looks like we have made it to where we need to be. So, let's see what's going on. Stop right there! You little brat! You've been a spectator for the action for so long! You wanted a slice of glory for yourself, huh? But Articuno's mine! I'll stop you with any means necessary! Here we go, Rodri versus Regina. So it's been so long since we've actually took on Team Fusion Regina that I did not expect us to battle her. So let's go ahead and take her on. She's going to have 
pretty much the same Pokemon I think she's been using since the beginning. So let's see what we can do here, guys. I'm actually really pumped to take on Regina because I feel like we really need to shut her down. The fact that she's been able to run around two different regions and catch all these legendary Pokemon without being stopped yet just goes to show you, you know, how much of a, of a good time it'll be for us to stop her right now before things get a little bit out of hand because I think if she goes ahead and catches a couple more legendaries, it could definitely turn into a little bit of a tough situation. But who knows? There we go. We popped the full restore. Who knows how many Regina will have? All the gym leaders here in the Rancor region have had like eight full restores for their six Pokemon. So maybe Regina will end up, you know, having a bunch for her own Pokemon too. I always like going up against Regina ever since... We began this adventure ever since we learned about her. Just because I think it's always it's always quite a bit of fun to see what she can come up with. We are so close to taking down the Zoroark. If we can just land this next surf, it should be very, very close to taking this guy down. So let's see if we'll be able to do it. And with that, guys, all right, cool. I don't think the crit was necessary, but we took down the Zoroark. So let's see who Regina's going to send out next. It's going to be an Absol. I guess we can definitely switch things up a little bit now if we really wanted to. I can switch out to another Pokemon and just have a little bit of fun with it. So let's go ahead and send out RSP. I think RSP has always gone up against Regina's Absol, so it's cool to see that. Also, I really do hope you guys are having a good Saturday. I've been enjoying my Saturday quite a bit. I slept in, and it's raining out, so, you know, I felt like I had a good reason to sleep in. Whenever it's just really nice and gloomy out and just rainy it makes me just want to stay in my warm bed i mean i feel like that's all of us if it's just nice and gloomy out you're gonna want to stay in bed all nice and cozy and you're not gonna want to get up and that's how i was feeling this morning but then eventually you just have to realize like all right come on you just have to do it you have to get your day started you have to go and get going and it also is nice to appreciate the rain while you're awake. I think it's always nice to look out the window and just kind of appreciate it. I always do that quite a bit, actually. That's why I'm really glad that my desk has three windows because I can just look out any angle I want and just take a nice view in. And it's always nice to see that. I think it's always great to have a nice view and it just really makes you... You know, appreciate things a little bit more, especially if you stay inside a lot. And I definitely do. I got to tell you, I spend a lot of time inside. So having a little bit of a nice view or a nice breeze coming in is definitely much appreciated once in a while. I think that's, that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can take down this Ho-Oh, though, guys. We've done quite good so far. I believe one more surf and we'll be able to take this guy down. We're actually kicking some serious butt here. And so far, so good. Let's go for another surf. That should take down the Ho-Oh, and there we have it, guys. Ho-Oh is down for the count. So let's see who the last of her Pokemon is going to be. I believe it's going to be Moltres, because I think Moltres was the last one she caught. So yeah, there it is. Moltres is going to be coming out. So maybe just one more surf, and we should be good to continue on from here. I don't know what else Regina is going to have in store, but I'm sure there is a lot more going on here than we know. All right, let's go for the surf, Chompy. See if you can take down this little Moltres. It might take... It might, oh, my goodness. There we go. Moltres endured. Oh, what a good call. What a good call on Regina. Regina's actually turning out to be a really good trainer. And now we are actually out of... Ah, uh, okay. We're out of moves. That kind of sucks because now I'm going to have to do pretty much everything else I can to take down this Moltres. So let's go. All right. The Blizzard's not going to hit. So that's a fun time, guys. This has actually turned out to be a little bit of a tougher battle just because I'm running out of moves. I mean, if you go and think about it, we've battled a bunch of trainers today. I think we've battled a bunch of trainers in general. So we are going to begin running out of moves quite often. The Ice Punch actually did a lot more than I expected. So I'm just going to keep going for it. Let's just go for the Ice Punches. I think that's what's going to have to do it. Let's hope that this will take down the Moltres. It would be kind of funny that... Ice Punch would be the one move to take down the Moltres. Since technically, you would think that Ice moves wouldn't really affect Fire types too much. Whenever I was watching the anime, you just see the type advantages just being so completely wrong. You just see them and you're just like, this should not be working. And that's kind of something that happens here too, I guess. With that though, guys, we got 30-40 for winning and... Oh, is your little battle over? Thank you for the distraction, Rodri. Enable me to slip right past you. Out, people! Uh, all I want is a little piece, but no everyday people want to catch me. What's a Pokemon need to do for some relaxation? Exalted Legendary, please forgive me for this. Dragonite, go! Destroy that Articuno with Horn Drill!
It's barely strong enough to flee. Excellent work, Dragonite. You may return. Wait, you weren't going to capture Articuno? Then why bother coming all this way? I'm after something much greater than Articuno. Any second now. I cannot sit idly by and watch this world be torn to shreds by two complete imbeciles. Do you not realize how the very balance of nature is destroyed by your power lust? I demand you release those legendaries you have captured. For the fate of everyone, I beg of you. Believe me, Lugia, I have every intention to doing so. Go Master Ball. By Arceus' will, I issue a challenge to you, Regina. If you refuse to release Ho-Oh, meet me on the highest points of the peaks of Alpha. Our final battle shall be there. Should you emerge victorious? I will give you Lugia. I cannot force you to come, but I know you cannot resist the offer of a legendary. Remember, the peaks of Alpha is where our final stand shall be. Lugia, use fly. That man reads me like an open book. I will take up his challenge. Oh, use fly. The weather changed, Rodri. Who captured Articuno? Was it Regina? Pius maimed Articuno and captured Lugia? This plot is becoming far worse with every passing moment. You said they went to the peaks of Alpha? I shall go there too. Now more than ever, I need to get my mother to stop. Goodbye, Rodri. So with that, guys, it looks like we are going to be headed to the peaks of Alpha because it is going to be a Ho-Oh versus Lugia showdown at the top of the peaks of Alpha. We have a little bit of Pius versus Regina coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really is much appreciated. You guys always are really amazing. You guys leave me the best tips, the best comments, and they really, really do mean a lot to me. As I said, next time we will continue from here in Alpha Isle if we can just arrive there. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and some comments on what's coming up. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Next time, hopefully we will be able to handle anything that is coming up because I really don't know what Regina and Pius have in store for us. It's probably going to be really tough so get ready guys so i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye